A Division I basketball game in Illinois was marred by fans directing racism at the players. Norfolk State's Jamari Thomas, seen here, was reportedly racially abused. Many have pointed to these men in the front row. Thomas is then seen talking to the official to share what occurred. Both teams went to their respective huddles. The players would momentarily get pulled off the floor. Norfolk State head coach Robert Jones would address the officials. Jones, protecting his players, would jaw back at the fans who went after his player. He was held back from going further. Shockingly, Jones would start hearing it from Illinois State's head coach, and the pair would have to be separated. The players would as well. Though it all stemmed from what many are proclaiming to be this fan, who may or may not be throwing up the WP sign. The Twitter user she loves underscore the took the following screenshot. Thomas, after a foul was called, immediately went over to the sideline. Something's got to give here, everybody. Jones would tweet above the video from the game, I'm not letting anybody call my players a racial slur. Those are my kids and I will fight for them. We have come too far in society to be called the N-word at college basketball games. Via Pilot Online, Jones was quoted as saying, the fan called Jamari a racial slur. So when Jamari told me, that's when I walked on the court and I told the ref and I told the fan, you can't call my players a racial slur. I don't care about basketball. You can't talk to them that way. So that's why I went on the court. ISU's coach told the press he took exception to Jones being as far on the court as he was. The two coaches met each other on the sidelines with choice words before the benches cleared and they had to be held back. He'd go on to say, I was upset. He was on the floor and I was raising hell with the referees. It was never personal towards him. I'll just leave it at that. I'll take the high road on that. Later, he'd release a statement through the team, which would read in part, I take full responsibility for my actions. I was wrong for allowing the situation to escalate. I expressed to Coach Jones after the game, I absolutely did not hear what he was saying to me. Had I heard Coach Jones, my response would have been completely different. This was a misunderstanding in which I reacted to him without understanding the situation, and I own that mistake 100%. I would also like to apologize for any negative reflection my response may have brought to either institution, its student athletes, or basketball programs. In all, three fans would be ejected from the game. Norfolk State is a historically black college and university, Illinois State, a PWI. Coach Jones said he had recalled a similar incident at ISU in 2011 or 2012. He did not remember it until former players from that team texted him about the Saturday win and thanked him for how he handled the controversy. Now, Illinois State, which is based in Bloomington, Normal, Illinois, has promised a thorough investigation. We await those results because I am very curious to see what they find and what they publish. And in addition, any punishment, if they find substantial evidence, will these fans have against them, brought against them? Will they be banned from the arena? Will charges be filed? It is completely up in the air. Or will they be absolved? The other part is this. Illinois State's coach has said that it was a complete misunderstanding and that he didn't listen. Well, that's a big part of the problem now, isn't it? Instead of being combative, and I understand it is heat of the moment, he let his emotions get the best of him. And Norfolk State's coach was doing his best to protect his players. Meanwhile, Coach Jones has said he will probably not talk with ISU's coach again.